matching dresses. Oh. Oh my god, Twinsy! I'm <laughs> um, Shirley Temple. Uh, I can't do this. Hey, it's Lindsay. And I'm Sierra. So a couple months ago, May and I tried on some incredible 1920s looks. Lindsay is a fellow fashionista, so I invited her to try on some 1950s looks. Yay! So since Sierra and I have very different body types and chest sizes, we're gonna put these 50s looks to the test to see how they fit our bodies. All right, how are you feeling about this? I'm excited. Really? I feel like this era was built for curves, the boobs and the buns. It seems very put together and I don't like being told what to do. So I think now we need to learn about 1950s fashion. <gasps> wow! Fashion for women in the 1950s can be defined as elegant, feminine, and formal. It dominated both day wear and evening wear. The silhouette, dubbed the new look, is the iconic 1950s shape of rounded shoulders, a raised bust, a cinched neat waist, and a large full skirt. The silhouette obviously emphasized curves, and women considered curvaceous and voluptuous for the time period were idolized. You're an idol. This ultra feminine silhouette was a grand departure from the more liberating women's fashion of the 1920s and 30s. This departure in fashion seemed to mimic the social atmosphere of the post-war era. In the 1950s, the average age for an American woman to get married was 20 years old. Ew, no! Restrictions and rationing were done away with, and women who had gone to work during the war were returning to the home. After all the years of doing without, women were impeccably dressed and groomed to embrace a more luxurious lifestyle. Okay, I think it's time to go through these outfits. Guys, welcome to Timeless Vixen. We specialize in designer, rare antiques, and couture. From Victorian to modern, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, cool, I'm excited. So this is, whole wall is the 50s section, Ooh. what you're looking for. And we can't talk about the 50s without talking about Christian Dior. As you can see, just the fabrication is beautiful. In the 50s, they loved matchy-matchy. So why not have matching dresses? Oh, oh my god, Twinsies! <laughs> obsessed with this. I really am. This is amazing. I love the seashell print. The novelty is so 1950s. Like, when you think 1950s, I never thought this. That shelf bust is really flattering for the boobs, it especially is. if you're smaller in the chest. It gives you that definition. It's so breathable and it's so lightweight. And it feels like, I don't know, like my mom made it or something. <gasps> Wow, look at you, bombshell. This is so beautiful. I love how like cinched I am. I am kind of spilling out a little more. But this bust is called the shelf bust. Okay. Very popular in the 1950s. And then with the little nipped waist, you're like Marilyn. It's so cute. Look at you. Oh, cute. Again, love this. I love this on you so much. It fits you like it's made for you. I'm kind of obsessed that it's two pieces. Like it's just a little dress under here. In the 1950s, they would do these little boleros is what they call them. They're not quite a jacket, but it was like a little topper. So, so great. Look oh, at so that cute. bottom. My boob is not to here. But so it, it makes it look like it is. Exactly. I just want to run on a beach. <laughs> She's a business queen wow. and a woman. It covers oh, every inch of your body, but it's so hot. The shape <laughs> yeah. is so perfect. Like, are you kidding me? Look yeah, at this it's waist. tailored. Like, oh. It's so flattering. That's the definition of an hourglass. You would be like a high profile secretary. Oh, type, 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 yeah. Type. All right, let's see the first of the night looks. Wow. So beautiful. Look at the back. Look at oh the God. bow. The bow is so cute. The fabric, it's high quality silk satin. Just like luxurious. <laughs> they have a built-in crinoline petticoat under. See, look at that. Ooh. Do a little spin. It's so easy. Ah! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so glamorous. Back in the 50s, they would take yards and yards of silk chiffon and manipulate it. And I mean, this took a wow. lot of time to make. This feels beautiful. And just the oh, way it drapes. The so flattering. Oh Look at that. Yeah. It gives you that great bust line in the one shoulder. Oh! 
oh this color on you. My goddess. I feel so beautiful. <laughs> it feels like this is what I would wear 100% in the 50s. And do you have hips? I see some I know, hips. I see <laughs> hips. lots of <laughs> beautiful hips. Listen, and... I have hips, but these give me like hip okay. hips. There's just like a bunch of extra fabric here, so you can just tell the silhouette is beautiful. Spin for us. Oh! Ah! <gasps> This is incredible. I mean, this is a true hourglass 1950s moment. And it's not too far from what you would see today, but I feel like it's just tailored so the well. Cut is and it's like, elevated. You would never see this. You would cut. never. And then this ruching in the bod. Oh my god, look at the little bag. Oh. Again, just those yards and yards oh. of silk chiffon. So I feel like the ruching is meant to accentuate the even more, mm -hmm. which is amazing. I am so ready to see this. <laughs> And I love how the dress looks good on two completely different bodies. I mean, questionable on... No, it's beautiful. I mean, all the detailing, like the fan and the beading. Absolutely oh beautiful. I think I just need a little more booties for this one. Yay! All right, so we've chosen our looks. I can't wait to see what you guys pick. Thank you so much for all your help. Now on to bras and breasts. Bras at the time lifted, separated, and shaped the breasts, but they also tightly controlled their movement. Bras typically had quite firm cups, which came to a point. These bras were used to emphasize a dramatic difference between bust, waist, and hips. Mm. A highly exaggerated version was known as the bullet bra. Do we have these bras? I think they're actually behind us. Oh! oh. So these are the 50s inspired bullet bras. You know, oh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna be a lot pointier than this. Oh wait, it actually looks really pointy on <laughs> This is my actual worst nightmare. It's like, psee, psee, psee. I think we need to get some rest and get ready for our big day. Hello, good morning. We're about to get our hair done, which, good luck. The only thing I'm not really looking forward to is that bra. The last thing I wanna wear is a dress. The winning outfit is this one. This one has the little fishes, and I just like the bright, bright color of it. Hello, beautiful look. Look at this, this is so stunning. The bra. Ugh, I really don't wanna wear this. Listen, I don't wear bras at all, and I haven't for years because small boobies, you know? But this feels lightweight, and there's no wiring. Not what I expected, but um, you know, here we are. <laughs> This is not cute. I will say I feel very secure. Maybe it'll help my posture, I don't know. I'm obsessed, this is amazing. The thing that I find the coolest about this dress is just seeing the tag, classic 50s. I feel like my body type was built for this time. I love a two-piece set. Honestly, it's just so flattering. There definitely is more boobage than I normally would be showing because of that bra. It's very pokey. It's hair time! Yay! I'm Emma, I'm gonna be giving you a gorgeous 1950s do today to go out in the town. Yes, the claw clip is not 1950s. <laughs> Are you yeah. excited to do this? I am, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a gorgeous page boy style today. Makeup time. Okay, it's freezing. Let's see here. Okay, so my brows. I feel like this eyebrow is very Marilyn. I am the Chicana Marilyn Monroe. I'm gonna use this shade, the brown in drip. It just, just feels wrong though. I just wanna add some like shimmer. Oh wow, failed immensely. I have not done eyeliner in years because I'm bad at it. Oh my god. The winged eyeliner is so hard. I'm trying to be more Marilyn, less Amy Winehouse. Okay, that's better. Doesn't look horrible when mascara's over it. Flabbergasted at the effort it would take to be hot during this time. Natural pink. I have a lot of pink on my dress, so I feel like that's cute. Do a nice little pink. I do have this like pinky coral. I am a gloss girl, okay? So just wearing lipstick, period. It's gonna be everywhere. All right, here's, I think, the final look. Here, everything I don't like about this look right, is my fault, not the 50s fault. <gasps> I'm Shirley Temple. I'm gonna do this bit first. Oh! <laughs> Like a 
darling girl going to a sock hop? Sock hop? Sock hop. I feel like I'm going to work. And I feel like I just got out of school. Your hair looks so cool. Yours does too. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. All right, it's time to go into the outside world. I can't wait. It's my lunch break. Let's go. All right, we're here on Magnolia Boulevard in Burbank. This street is known for having tons of amazing vintage. We're gonna go check out a vintage makeup store <gasps> called Besame. I can't do this. People love doing this. People dress up, they come and they do a little vintage photo shoot. I just don't, I think good for them. <laughs> We've been honked at, we're being catcalled. It's like the 1950s all over again. Let's go in. Here we go. So we're choosing our lipsticks for tonight. Perfect, we learned a lot. The middle one is a pink. I think that's more of like an everyday look. I like that one. And then there's the red, which yes. is the very Marilyn bombshell vibe, which is this woman, as we know. So we are in a home and we're going to do some chores, but first let's have a check-in about how we're feeling. Yes. Outwardly, I look good. Mm -hmm. Inwardly, it's so tight. Yeah. I, I thought at first it fit my body like perfectly, and now I'm like, I can't actually expand my lungs as far as I want them to go. Structurally, mm -hmm. I think I look amazing. The clothing I feel is actually supportive, but it's, so freaking tight and it doesn't feel good. I don't yeah. know how women of the time moved throughout their entire day in clothing that was so restricted. All right, so I guess I'm baking and you're sweeping. And this is both sexist and racist. Here's my quiche I definitely made myself. Ugh. Oh, that's the stove, not the oven. Yeah, I really can't breathe. <laughs> I really wanna just like rip it off. I can't bend over. So, I'm, like, this is, I'm glad there's a little handle here. I really do think that like the you had to be perfect for the man to come home. Okay, I've had enough of this. Yep. It's time for our night look because <gasps> I need a drink. Hello! So cute! Oh my god, we're oh. the blue angels. Look at this bag. This bag is vintage 50s and it's so Stunning. And you look yeah, so yeah. good. You. you look hot. See, I feel like if you wore this today, I no would one would it. question anything. They'd Honestly, be this dress makes all of this worth it. You look amazing as well. This is everything that we've worn, you can just tell was tailored for the ideal body type. I go back and forth between really feeling like 50s and also like an 80s prom queen. We'll see how we do at a bar. I need a cocktail. I can't sit, so I've fallen to lay into the car so my hips don't bust the seams of this dress. That was a very interesting experience. There were many people. There were many. People. Staring at us. And there was a guy who looked at Lindsay and was like, I like your dress. I was looking at people in like sweats and hoodies mm -hmm. and they were just comfortable. They could move. So in the 50s, I'm not sure that women were actually going out on the town alone. Mm -hmm. They would have their husbands, they would have a chaperone. As much as I think the 50s appreciated a woman's body, you know, the curves, everything like that, it also was very restricting. <laughs> super body positive. Every decade we're finding that there's always this ideal. Mm -hmm. And so instead of a woman just, she has her body, she wears what feels good. We're finding that there's always a way to alter. What decade should we do next? <laughs> 